young, energetic, disciplined, and inspired. These are the Red Cross youth, the force behind the power of humanity. With a membership strength at present of around 6.8 million, from the 86 Red Cross chapters nationwide, the Red Cross youth remains as the biggest source of volunteer manpower for the PNRC. In time of disasters and emergencies, trained young rescue workers and relief aiders have always been the first to come to the scene to give the victims the most needed help. When the tragic landslide hit Payata's dump site in Quezon City during the month of July year 2000 and buried instantly thousands of residents still in bed at 4 o'clock in the morning, the PNRC response team composed of Red Cross youth members were the first to arrive at the scene and started rescue efforts. The latest Mayon volcano eruption, March of year 2000, saw the deployment of hundreds of dedicated RCY members who responded to the call of duty in rescue, first aid, and relief to the victims and those in various evacuation centers at Legazpi Albay. The same skills and dedication are seen among the Red Cross youth during floods, earthquake, in landslide, and even in massive disasters such as armed conflicts. In Mindanao, where there is an on and off armed fighting between the government troops and rebel groups, the youth plays a vital role in alleviating the suffering of displaced families, especially the children. They look after minor ailments such as colds, fever, and skin disorders. They also teach the evacuees personal hygiene, environmental sanitation, family planning, and skills on basic first aid. The Red Cross youth also conducts trainings, seminars, and workshops on drug prevention through the RCY's Drug Abuse Prevention Education, or DAPE, and the basic knowledge on HIV AIDS to prevent other young people from going wayward and become liabilities of our society. With the funding assistance from the Citizens Drug Watch, the Dangerous Drugs Board, and accounting associations like PAMA, PICPA, ACPACI, and most recently from the Rotary Organization and the WHO UNDCP, the Red Cross Youth has embarked on a nationwide active campaign on substance information dissemination and trainers training focused on the youth-to-youth -youth approach and the reduction of the demand and supply of psychoactive substances. Another health program of the RCY is the Water for Health for Life. With the support of the Japanese Red Cross, the PNRC was able to install a total of 597 artesian wells in as many elementary schools across the country, benefiting 453,899 school children. In 1996, it was modified to include toilets and tree planting components. A total of 116 more wells will be constructed in more schools for the good of 82,899 grade schoolers. Saving lives through voluntary blood donation has always been one of the primary concerns of the youth. To ensure that the Red Cross will have a continuous supply of safe and healthy blood, the Red Cross youth has organized and launched a program called Pledge 25 in 1998. This encourages the youth, 18 to 25 years old, to donate blood regularly, three to four times a year, and invite others to do the same. Pledge 25 is one of the major programs of the Red Cross Youth, with members of more than 2,000 young donors from various PNRC chapters. The promotion of humanitarian values, character building, and protection of one's life and dignity is another major concern of which the Red Cross Youth does through its dissemination of international humanitarian law. This aims to prevent and minimize human suffering caused by war by providing minimum protection to the wounded combatants, the prisoners of war, and the civilians. Understanding the fundamental principles of the movement, which are humanity, impartiality, neutrality, independence, voluntary service, unity and universality, enables the people to appreciate better the works of the Red Cross, including its limitation. Even in fundraising activities and during World Red Cross Day and other big events, 
the Red Cross youth is often mobilized. The Youth Millennium Membership Movement, which was launched at the turn of the millennium, also has the youth as target participants and prime movers. With the support of the Department of Education, Culture and Sports, the youth remains to be the biggest source of funds for most Red Cross chapters across the country. The leadership potentials of the Red Cross youth are better enhanced through continuous leadership training, capacity building seminars and workshops on various fields of service. The National Red Cross Youth Congress, held every two years and is participated in by some 300 youth participants, provides the most convenient venue for displaying their leadership abilities. The highlight of their Congress are the election of the National Youth Council officers and the exposure of the delegates to various skills building workshops with selected experts as resource persons. To establish closer camaraderie among the members, the RCY also holds a chapter area and national levels of summer camps filled with outdoor activities and programs. Cultural shows and competitions like first aid, drawing, poster making, and other environment friendly sports are also being conducted during the camp to foster friendship and sportsmanship and thereby instilling in them the love of mother nature. The leadership ability and idealism of the youth is now organized by the PNRC Board of Governors through its representation in the highest policy-making body of the organization. The president of the National Red Cross Youth Council now sits as an ex-official member of the board, and he coordinates with the chairman and membership of the youth committee of the board. Dedication to service and the will to extend humanitarian efforts are what brings closer the Red Cross youth here, as well as in other sister Red Cross and Red Crescent societies. As we go into the new millennium, the Red Cross youth more than ever will assert its relevance to the humanitarian mission of the PNRC. As the Philippines is now ranked as the most disaster-prone country in the world, the RCY has developed a new program called the Red Cross Youth Kaagapay sa Barangay or the RCY Kabarangay with activities designed to complement the disaster management services of the PNRC, this program will organize the community RCY members into well-trained disaster responders and relief workers in every barangay. They will offer proactive services through dissemination, trainings, organized voluntary blood donations, and concerted efforts on DAPE and HAPE campaigns in the community. An interesting program, the Junior First Aiders, gives opportunity for the Junior Red Cross youth members enrolled in elementary schools to become emergency responders at a young age, rather than passive members and bystanders. After a five-day training on basic leadership and Junior First Aid, the members with the prescribed RCY uniforms on will assist the school clinic or in the campus and see the emergency and first aid needs of the school population for what they are, for what they can do, and for what they can give. The youth is what makes the future the hope of every fatherland. The Red Cross can only be proud, it has the best of them all. The Red Cross youth with the young blood, the pure energy that keeps the power of humanity alive and burning in the country and in the world and into this new millennium.